We're going to be breaking out this brand new Osama-san I Know What You Did Last Summer music video. There's tons of cool and unique effects inside of this that are actually super simple to do, but I thought I would teach you guys how to do them because I feel like you could take simple effects like this and turn them into your own thing and create new styles and creative looks for your videos super easily. Now let's hop right into this. I have a couple effects here that we're going to recreate, starting off with the very first one here, which is taking like a color palette from the videos and putting it on the side. They do it a lot in this video here. Let me just find another example of this. So right here, we have that. We have all these quotes here that I'll be showing you guys how to do as well. And then, yeah, you guys can see we have these really cool color palette looks that are just spread across the video here and here. And you can do them super simply. And then we're going to get into these kind of colorama distortion effects as well on the side, just screenshots. And then we'll move on to this cool text effect and then on to these quotes. So without further ado, let's hop right into this. Now, before we hop into this video, I have to let you guys know about my brand new plugin coming out for Premiere Pro called Fast Effects. It allows you to instantly add hits, shakes, wipes, CRT transitions, thermal transitions, and a ton more effects inside of your timeline instantly in just a few clicks. Everything inside of this is fully customizable. I highly recommend going to the description below and joining the waitlist for the plugin. You guys will have early access to the plugin, exclusive discounts, the ability to possibly beta test, and you'll be entered into a free giveaway to get the plugin for free, possibly. The waitlist is down below. I highly recommend you guys go join it. There's a bunch of benefits, but let's hop right back into the video. All right, so starting off, I feel like the simplest way to do this is inside of Photoshop, but if you guys don't have Photoshop, you can do it inside of Premiere Pro as well. All you really have to do to do it inside of Premiere Pro is we are going to hold Option and drag up so we have a duplicate, and we are going to right click on it, hit Nest, and then hit OK. And we're going to double click to go inside of this nest here. Now that we have this nested, what we want to do next is we want to right click up here, go over to New Item, and then we're going to click uh, color mat and we're going to make the color mat 1080 by 1080 that's going to make it a square and what we're going to do now when we have the color picker open we're going to click on our eyedropper tool down here and we're going to pick a color from the video so let's start off with this blue and hit okay and we'll call this the blue and then we'll drag and drop this inside of here now we're going to extend this to match our clip and you guys will see the blue is going to be really big so we're going to go over to scale and we're going to scale it down for now and then what we're going to do next is we're going to do the exact same thing Project, right click, new item, color mat, 1080 by 1080. Make sure that's that again. And then we'll pick a different color. We'll pick like the blue. So if you just hover over it, you guys will see like right here, it'll show. So we'll pick that blue from his sweater. Okay, drag this in here. And you basically just wanna do that a bunch of times till you have like at least eight of them. I'm gonna go for six in this one, but it's up to you guys on how many you wanna do. All right, so we have six of them here. And what we're gonna do next is we are going to highlight all of them here so i have them all off we're going to highlight all of them and turn them back on and if we turn off everything except the bottom one here you guys can see i resized it so to get this size to apply to the rest of these ones here we're going to press on the one that's smaller and press command c then we're going to highlight the rest of them and press Control command v or option command v and we're going to paste the motion and the opacity now if we turn them back on you guys can see they are all the exact same size now where this gets interesting is what we're going to do is we're going to click on the one above go into effect controls and we're going to drag it down click on the one above and we're going to drag it down and just keep an eye on the distance in between you kind of have to eyeball it if you're inside of photoshop you could do it a lot easier we're going to drag this one to the side and then we're going to drag this one to the side making sure it's on top and then we're going to line it up with the one on the right there and then we're going to do the last one here drag it over and then drag it down Sweet, now that we have all those in there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight them, right click, and then hit nest. And now that they're nested, what we could do is move them to wherever we want in the video. So let's say I wanna put them up here. And that's pretty much the look there, guys. We have all of the colors that are in this scene in the corner. And you guys could like rotate it however you want. Let's say you wanna put it sideways. So we want it at like 90 degrees here. Put it like that, put it down here, put it over here. Totally up to you, but that's how you guys do the effect. Now let's move on to the very next one here. We have these like chroma, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like this thermal look on him. Um, what you could do to get this is if you go ahead and take a screenshot of the video here, pressing the export frame button, we're gonna go ahead and do it on this clip right here. If you guys don't have the uh, camera button here, just click the plus right here and it'll be right here and you just wanna drag it down just like I've done. So we're gonna click export frame and you wanna make sure you have import into project opened up here. So we're gonna hit okay. If we go into our project now, we'll have this. So we're gonna extend that over this frame. But what we wanna do now is we wanna right click it, nest it, 
and then double clicking on the nest what we're going to do is we're going to go inside of effect controls here and we're going to scale it in like that and then what we could actually do as well is if we go on our nest sequence here and go up to sequence we could change it to uh, 1080 by 1080 to make it a square and then we'll just move him to fit inside of that now and we'll go back into our project you guys can see we have our square right here so we're just going to resize this and put it right here and we could hold option and drag up to have a couple of them so we'll have these two here and then maybe we'll add like one more right here now pretty much what you want to do with these to get that effect is if you go into effect controls and we put on something like tint you guys can see it makes this one a black and white what we could then do is go inside of effect controls and map the white inside of here just by clicking on it to like a red color so we get that and then we can map the black to like a white so boom you guys can see instantly we have that look there now if we go into effects and we search up noise we can throw on noise and grain and then we'll turn this up making sure we have color noise on and we can put that below the tint if you like the way that looks there and you can turn it up even more just to get that really cool look or you can put it like over here i think it looks better on top like that and then if you go inside of lumetri color now and you go into curves we can mess with like the green curve and you guys can see we can mess with all of this here just make points and drag them around to get different looks and different colors so we'll go for something like that and then what we could do I'm, i was an idiot for kind of duplicating those before um if we delete these and then just hold option and drag up on these ones we can bring them down just like that if you want to have the same color or what we could do super easily going back inside of effect controls we'll go down and we'll map the white to a different color so let's do like blue here you guys can see we get a different look and then for this one here we could map it to like yellow or something and then just mapping the black to a different color let's say like black uh, i don't like that actually let's do like purple yeah that's sick and then we could change this one here we'll map the white to uh let's do like pink or something like a bright pink that looks sick guys we get a really cool look just like that you guys can see that i have this like line in between you guys can do that super simply and then boom you could just do like the same color effect that we did here in the corner or something on your videos and it's super simple like if you guys want these to be videos you could do that really easily all you really have to do is double click inside of the nested sequence here and since all the effects are in the nested sequence like are on top of it um for example we could just take like uh we'll take this uh clip here and we'll press command c on it we'll double click in this nested sequence we'll press command v to paste it and we'll we'll put the i'm just going to delete the audio by right clicking and unlinking and basically we just put this like inside of here you guys could see i'm just going to realign it just so he's like in the center you guys can see we have it like that if you go back into the sequence you guys can see all of these are now a video now which i think looks way cooler super hard now moving on next we have these circular text effects i'm just going to recreate them on the bottom right here uh, we want to go into project now and we're going to right click and we're going to hit new item and we're going to do a color mat again let's start off with something red we're going to make this 1080 by 1080 again and we'll start off with red hit okay and we'll drag it into our timeline as you guys can see here now what we're going to do is we're going to go inside of effect controls and we're going to hit the circle on opacity here and then we're going to go ahead and stretch it out until it looks like an actual circle i think that's pretty fair there now you guys can see the edges are kind of blurred so i recommend going and turn the mask feather to zero and now what we could do on this you guys can see there's a little bit of a paper crumble texture to get something like that i recommend you guys go and just search like paper crumble texture on google and we'll just take something like this and we'll save the image and i'm just going to drag and drop that in on top of here now what we could do is if we right click on the color mat and we nest it we can then copy the paper texture and then delete it go inside of the nest paste it and bring it on top of the circle now now what i recommend we do guys is if we go ahead and scale up the paper texture but then we copy the mask from the circle press command c and then paste it on the paper texture and then all we have to do is resize it to match and then we're going to go inside of blend mode and we'll turn this to overlay now if overlay doesn't look the greatest i'm just going to move this so it fits a little bit better you basically just want to scroll through the blend modes until you find something that looks good so boom multiply looks crazy and we can go ahead and turn the opacity down as well now if we go back inside of our project here we see we have like a similar paper effect so what we're going to do now is we're just going to take this put it in the corner and the beauty of this guys is we could actually just hold option and drag up go into our motion and move another one right here 
And all we have to do now is go inside of effects. We'll search up tint and we'll drag and drop a tint on top of it. And now we're just going to map the black to like a blue color. And you guys can see instantly we have a different color of it. Duplicate this one. We'll map the this to like a green color. And then we'll move it over to the side. And you guys can see we get all the different colors just by doing that. And then next, just press T on your keyboard. And we're going to click once. And then we can just type out like uh, O for Osama-san. And they use like a really bold font. We're going to go into Essential Graphics here. And we're going to highlight our O. And we're going to look for a bolder font. So we'll just do the bold version of that. If you guys don't have your Essential Graphics tab open here, go inside of Window and grow, go down and click on it and then just drag it to where you want it. Now we're going to press V on our keyboard because since we're in the text tool now, we want to go back to the regular tool. Oh, fuck. Now we're going to click down here, press V on our keyboard to go back. And we're going to move our O inside of the circle. And you guys can see like all of them are angled. So to do that, pretty much what you want to do is click on it, go to the very edge, and then you could like circle, you can change like the orientation of it. So I'm just going to hold option, drag up, press T, highlight that, change it to S, click off, click back on it, press V to go to the normal move around tool, move it inside of this one, and then go down here to the corner and then resize it like that. And you guys see we have that effect. You just need to do it a bunch of different times with a couple different colors. Super simple, super easy to recreate. Now moving on to the very last one here, guys, we have these quotes. Now, these are super simple to do. All we have to do to recreate them, let's just take this clip here, for example, and do it on here. We want to go into our text tool and we're going to search up uh, purpose, for example, press command A on it. And then we're going to go over to our text and you guys saw they used like a cursive text. So I'm just going to use this one, for example, and we'll change the fill to whatever color we want just to match theirs for the sake of this video. We'll turn it to like this cream color. And we're going to extend it to the length of our clip. Now we're going to take it, click on the vector, bring it down here. And then what we could do is press option, drag up, click on it. And then let's say we want to type like this big paragraph. You could just copy it from like Google. I'm just spamming my keyboard right now. We could do that and then click on the vector, bring it down and put it right here. And you guys can see they use like new new times Roman. So I'm just going to highlight all that. I'm going to go into essential graphics and I'm going to search uh, times regular and you can see we have that look there now to get it to look even cleaner what i recommend you do is you go ahead and you bring these closer together and then we can bring these closer together like that and you guys can see we have a similar look right there i'm actually going to go ahead and change this cursive font i don't like it i'm going to go with uh, times new roman again but i'm do like the angled one like that and i think that matches it really well if you take like this effect here that we did and put it on top of here as well we instantly have like a really cool look that we could add to our video super simply but yeah that's pretty much it guys i really enjoyed this video and i think the effects are super unique i think all of the effects on osama sun's music videos are super unique if you guys want to see more breakdowns just like this let me know in the comments below what you guys want me to cover i highly recommend you guys go ahead in the description below and join the fast effects waitlist as well it's down here in the bottom right the best plugin i've ever made for premiere pro thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video peace